We think of public goods as things like uh, the defence forces, police, uh, roads, public roads as things built by governments and private goods like cars and cookies and things as things that we buy from a shop and get made in factories. More and more that's getting mixed up. So think of a, something like Google or Facebook or Wikipedia. Those things are all public goods. They're available to everyone. They're available for free. They're incredibly useful and they cost nothing. Did the government provide them? No, the government didn't provide them. In the case of Google and Facebook, private enterprise provided them for profit. And in the case of Wikipedia, uh, that was provided by philanthropy, by people deciding to serve the public good themselves, not the government. And more and more, this is the sort of thing that is happening. How does Wikipedia fund itself? Well, people donate. How does Google fund itself? It's funded from advertisements, as is Facebook. So there must exist a class of these public goods that would be as valuable as Google is, but which can't get the money to, to assemble itself from advertising. Uh, and I've got an example of such a good. Uh, consider the business called 23andMe. For $99, 23andMe will send you a kit into which you spit and you send them back that kit with your saliva in it and they do a genomic or they, they do a genomic analysis from that saliva and give you your unique genotype. That can help you know whether you're susceptible, unusually susceptible to breast cancer, bowel cancer, any number of conditions. You can see how valuable that would be to you as a private good, if you like, and that's why they will sell it to you for $99. But the more people who use a service like that, the more powerful the database of these genomes becomes. And so in many ways, it's a public good, but we can't fund it from advertising because $99 is a bit too much to get from advertising. So this is a perfect example where we can build new public goods using a public-private partnership. So consider that the public Australian health insurance system, Medicare, could do what we call bulk bill, which is to pay that $99 because as well as you're getting your genome, the, the medical system, subject to privacy rules and subject to you choosing to opt in, would also get that data so that the Australian medical system could better target screening for breast cancer, bowel cancer, and all the things that it does now. That's easily worth $99 to the Australian government, hence it should be happy to fund it, but at the same time, it becomes free. At the same time, the health system could uh, nudge people into the system. So whenever you went to a doctor, the doctor could say, would you like this service? It's free. If you don't want it, that's fine. If you do want it, we'll do it for you for nothing. Spit here, we'll take care of the rest. That would be a public-private partnership, building a new public good of immense value because we would have not half a million customers as 23andMe has over the 2 billion wealthy people in the world, but 10, 15 million Australians from a much smaller population, driving that database much, much higher, a much higher, larger number of much more data in that database and therefore much more science, much more research can come out of it. And we can drive personalized medicine with a piece of infrastructure like that. A, pro a public good built privately, built better and cheaper than either the government or the private sector could have done it on its own.